Here is a turtle. I can't see from here because my eyes, but it looks like a red belly laying eggs. So Brittany, this is for you. Finally got us a turtle laying eggs. Now she's burying them. So this is a decent size too. I'd like to flip her. Now, I'd like to flip her over so that we can get a shot of her uh, carapace, which is the underside, so that we can um, ID her, because it's almost like a fingerprint. But, I don't want to, because she's digging, she's excavating to lay her eggs. Um, you know, I'm a little shaky, I haven't slept. But, uh, I don't want to disturb her while she's laying eggs. So, we'll talk a little bit about her later. Uh, I gotta see if I can find Joe and let him see this, because I'm pretty sure I saw his shaved head walking around here somewhere a minute ago. This is awesome. So now she's packing the dirt nice and tight. She's gonna pack this dirt real tight. Tighter than I thought. See her back feet pushing that, that soil in and then packing it down? She pushes her foot down, watch. She packs it with her foot. How cool is that? So, these guys, they like to feed on uh, snails, crayfish, tadpoles, probably, I don't know if I just said crayfish or not, and uh, aquatic vegetation, of course. Um, but uh, red belly turtle, awesome, awesome specimen. Let's, uh, I'm going to film her burying the eggs some more. How big those feet are. They're huge. Huge feet. Oh, look at those claws. Look at those turtles claws. Nice webbed feet. These guys like to hang out at the deep spots of ponds and pools, rivers and lakes and stuff. That way when they jump into the water they can get away nice and easily. So uh, beautiful. Look at her face some more. So she's almost done. She's going to leave soon. Um, now when these guys breed, they nest 
from June to July, and right now this is uh, mid-June. Actually, it's like June 20th, June 21st, actually. Look at her grabbing that stuff and pulling it in there. Isn't that awesome? But they lay anywhere between like 8 to, to 20 eggs, and as you could tell, those eggs were slightly oval, you know, kind of like jelly beans. Uh, that's called elliptical, um, one and three eighths, one and a half to one and three eighths. These ones look like they were a little over one and a half inches long, um, and the cavity itself was probably three or four inches wide, several inches deep. But you know, they actually hatch um, in around I th I think it's like ten to fifteen weeks, uh, but sometimes they overwinter. In which case, you'd have to come back in the spring to see if they hatch then. Um, but cool stuff, huh? Awesome stuff. Um, the only problem is, is uh, these guys are being pushed out because of all the readier sliders that people release from fairs and stuff. That's an invasive species. The readier slider comes from the south. You know? Um, so it's not good to have them around here. They push out all the the red-bellied turtles and stuff because of competition for food and everything. Red-ear sliders can eat all sorts of stuff. You know, uh, red-ear sliders consume so many things. They're so successful, such successful breeders too. So the red bellies are at risk of that and plus the, the wetlands and habitats are all draining out and all that kind of stuff, mostly because of people. So, one other tidbit of information is the uh, the red bellies are actually the largest of the basking turtles. Uh, I didn't realize that. I just talked to Dana and he, he told me that. So this one here is probably a good 25, 30 years old. Um, she'll get older, of course. And she'll get a little bigger, too. Oh, there she goes. I was hoping Joe to get here before she's done burying her eggs and all, but looks like he didn't make it. You know, they're, they're part of the basking turtles, right? But these guys also lay their eggs the farthest from the water of the baskers. You know, snappers go farther, but the snappers aren't really a basking turtle. Uh, but the red bellies lay their eggs the farthest from the water compared to the other basking species. So that's a neat tidbit, too. So guys, this is where she laid her eggs. This is it right here. And look how well that blends in, right? And it's really firmly packed. Now you can see the loose debris, but that's pretty impressive. But then I see this over here, and it makes me wonder. Yeah, exactly. Maybe. And if you stand back and see the broader picture, it really kind of blends in. Now the only difference is the color of soil, but when the air hits that for a while, this is going to just blend in and turn into the... It's going to look the same as the rest. Yeah. It's weird, too, because this is the only, like, pretty steep hill in the area. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, seriously. Attracted to exactly. And look how many feet off the ground, like... Yeah. I don't know, what would you say that is? Like, three feet, maybe? Yeah, 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 about three feet, I would say. That's awesome. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah, it is cool. So I was hurrying ass down here.